What's up everyone, welcome to Clown World News, it's your host Talos, and today we're talking about a little bit of accelerationism, some escalation. Let's just see, we got two militias forming in Louisville, they've been at this for a while, but let's look at it. So here's the black militia, there's a bunch of different names for them, but anytime I see this sped up like this, all I can think is, that's, that's just the Benny Hill theme. Alright, regardless, they got they got their militia. They look like this. They're in Louisville, Kentucky. The other militia is there, looks like this, kinda. So the uh, you know, we have already reports in the past of the black militia having a friendly fire incident where three people were shot. They were trying to train a female on how to use a firearm of some sort. You can look into that article. Here is the actual protest live. Now this is not my channel. I will link to this channel. I do not want to get an impersonation. Well, let's listen in. You don't have to kill us, that's what they want. That guy, that black guy seems to be pretty awake. But yeah, so there's this militia, there's the other militia. They're doing their shit. But here's the thing. Is there a PSYOP coming? Did Nancy Pelosi slip and say that she was a part of a setup for the hair salon because she had that word in her head because she was already using that word, so she just said it? Is she a part of a setup about to happen? Is that how these people think? But check this out. Look at these forms that they're signing. Why are these people in the black militia signing these forms? These, what could these be? You know, releases? NDAs? What are these? Well, what's up with this? Well, here we have the leader of the NFAC admitting that people are being paid to join in on the black militia. <laughs> Everybody want, everybody want to get on the bandwagon now because they're giving out money. They're giving out money. Right, but they ain't doing yeah. shit. That's why the churches ain't doing shit, because they're giving them out money to set them up. Yeah. You get time, anything happened, the church was a place you had to deal with stuff. Now, uh-uh. Don't do it now. Bro. He realizes this is being recorded. He lied. Yeah, so there's that, and then you can think about these forms, and then you can think about this militia, and then, you know, fighting with this militia. These militiamen have existed for a while. These ones just kind of sprung up out of nowhere in response. You kind of look at, like, they have, like, a theme. Their whole theme is, like, wear all black. Gotta get the, the black uh, body vests. This guy must have gotten a little bit of in trouble for having the, the desert color. But, yeah, this militia is... So we'll see. I mean, you're looking at this, looking at it live. Let's go live again. This isn't my video. I'm not trying to impersonate them. I'm just looking at it, doing commentary. So it seems like they're having a nice conversation here. They're actually getting some sort of discourse happening. I've seen a lady yell at some of these people going, Black Lives Matter! And the other dude was just like, Okay, thank you for your time. We love you. <laughs> they just walked away. I was like, Yeah, thank you. That's a good way to de try to defuse that shit. There's probably a veteran of some sort. I don't know. He could just be in a chair. Who knows? But yeah. These could be... Uh, and it looks like an Antifa flag, maybe? I can't tell. I don't want to just label them as whatever but you know we have two different types of people two different militias all it takes is one very nervous person dumb person and then you're gonna have a lot of uh, bad news bad times at Ridgemont High now but this has gone on before in the past there has been two militias like this in Louisville and it seemed to end somewhat peacefully so we will see uh, if this, I'll, I'll link to this channel so that you guys can give them a shout out, give them a like, and a subscribe like I just did. 
And, uh, yeah, that'll be that. We'll just check this out. This might turn into something later tonight, because, you know, shit pops up at night time. But from judging on how the militia has been handling themselves, just from watching this live stream, they're very much like if they see, if they see one of their members getting into like uh, getting yelled at or getting into an argument of some sort, they just like pull them like, hey, let's just leave, let's go over there. They seem to be very responsible in how they're handling it. Will the other side be as responsible? We'll have to see. It's just so easy to imagine how that could escalate into something bad. Hopefully, maybe the police could divide them and keep them separated. But, you know, is there is there a PSYOP coming? Is there a false flag coming? Per perhaps. That's not far-fetched at this stage. Do they want people to be so afraid to get out in the streets that actual civil war happens before the civil war happens type of shit? Who knows? Tell me what you think. We'll look in the comments and check in the... Whatever. If you like investigative journalism, check the Patreon and all the other main channel. Blah, blah, blah. Hopefully shit like this doesn't get censored. But... Uh, I think it's important to pay attention to stuff like this. This seems like it could lead to something. Not that it has, but it could. So let's be vigilant. Let's stay safe. Remember, play stupid games. Win stupid prizes. Don't go play stupid games. There's no need. There's no need whatsoever. And let the let these people make themselves look like fools. You don't need to. But of course, you know, I support defending yourself. So, I was having said that, be a good person, stay vigilant, call your mom. Peace.